Hello fellow manga readers and welcome to the second manga review on my channel. I'm actually reading quite a bit of manga at this point in time and these manga will take quite some time to finish. For example we have Lone Wolf and Cub, I'm about to start volume 15 and it goes up to 28. Beautiful manga. So it'll probably take some time until you'll see a review of that. And we have Nana, uh, I'm at volume 3 right now. And it goes up to like 20 something, so uh, that will take some time as well. So I thought, why not read a one shot, which is what I did yesterday. This is the second manga I've read from Junji Ito, first one being No Longer Human, if you haven't seen my review on that. There's a card right up there, very amazing manga. This is also one of his popular works from him. Also have Uzumaki, so I'll probably make a review of that soon as well. Uh, and this is apparently, according to the back of this book, his creepiest horror masterpiece. Well, I've not read the other than No Longer Human. I haven't read anything from him yet, but uh, it was uh, pretty darn uh, creepy. I'll give her that. So it's called Gyo Gyo uh, Gyo. I'm not sure what it's uh, actually pronounced like, but this is the front. It's a hardcover, very good quality. Um, we have the spine here, which looks amazing. Uh, same style as Tommy and Uzumaki. We have the back here, uh, which has a really good synopsis. I do not want to spoil a lot uh, about this manga, since it's a very simple story. Uh, so yeah, we'll just read the back, because it's pretty uh, accurate. Uh, the floating smell of death hangs over the island. What is it? A strange legged fish appears on the scene, so begins Tadashi and Kaori spiral into the horror and stench of the sea. Here's the creepiest masterpiece of horror manga ever from the creator of Uzumaki, Yunji Ito. Hold your breath until all is revealed. Something's rotten in Okinawa. Well, that's pretty much what it is. It's about pretty much Tadashi and Kaori are on vacation in Okinawa. Uh, and his girlfriend uh, Kaori is very sensitive to smell. He says something come by and it's like, what is that? And it ends up being a legged fish which really stinks and it it's evolves into a lot of horror, like I said on the back. So it's very accurate. Yeah, I can show you some art, hopefully not too many spoilers. Here's what the legged fish looks like. Um, I'm glad that there isn't any manga with smell, otherwise I would have been dead by now. Uh, but yeah. I'm not going to show you too much, as I do not intend to spoil a lot, but uh, when it comes to gutter loss, that isn't, it's non-existent. It's very nice, uh, you, you can read everything, all of the text, all of the images, as you can see very well. Uh, there's also some colored pages, as you can see the first and the last one, I'm not going to show you the last one because it's a spoiler. Now let's get to the grading system. If you do not know what my space grading system means, here you have a card right up there, which explains my grading system. Uh, it's basically about S, P, A, C and E, which are all different categories, and based on those scores I'll get an average. Based on the average, I'll give it an award. So here we go, we have Gaio, and we'll start with the S, which stands for story. The story is alright, there's not really that much to it, it's not really what makes the manga interesting um, but it's it's all it's all right uh, they also have some bonus stories in the back two of them uh, the last of which is very interesting actually I really like that so I'll give it a 7 out of 10 and then we go to the P which is stands for paper quality now this book is a hardcover it's a very nice cover as you can see very nice spine very nice back it's just and the paper itself feels really good so I'll give that an 8 out of 10. Now we'll get to the A of art. Uh, now the art looks very good. We have some colored pages as well. Uh, just this one and the one at the back but that one is a spoiler so I'm not going to show that to you. Um, if you know Junji Ito's works you'll know what to expect. God for The story is pretty enjoyable to read. Uh, not my favorite manga, horror manga just yet. But it was pretty good, so I'll give it a 7 out of 10 as well. Now for the final score, what award does it deserve? 
I'm going to give it a silver award. It's definitely not the best horror manga there is right now, but if you like Junji Ito's works, his art, um, and this, these amazing deluxe editions, which are also uh, which are made for quite a bit of Junji Ito's works right now, then you should definitely add this to your collection. It's a good book, but don't expect the best horror manga ever, like it says on the back. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, new reviews are coming soon, I'm going to read some more one-shots, so I have more reviews of me to watch, because the other series I'm reading will take quite some time. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!